So we got our first look at the Last of Us season two teaser trailer. We're gonna do things a little bit differently than we actually usually do. We actually doing like a live actual action. What do you call those things? Uh, live review. I live guess you review. Want to call it. That sounds so ugly. I don't think that's what they call it. <laughs> uh, reaction. Let fa- live yeah. reaction. That's reaction. what they call that. They, they call that a reaction. <laughs> so we're gonna try to break this thing down frame by frame. Uh, we're gonna try to do our best with this thing. This is a trial run, so make sure to leave a comment or leave a like if you like it this way. If not, we're gonna end up switching it up in the future but last of us season two teaser trailer here we go bet oops on the wrong screen all right i'm gonna freeze right here uh go back just a little bit all right so bear with me here we go all right so in this first in this first scene right here we see Joe opening up the uh elevator here as he after he saved Ellie in in season 1 from the fireflies from, from the fireflies from uh performing that surgery to end up you know saving the human race here. So thoughts concerns on that one? Not really. I mean, it's not really a, spo- a spoiler alert, but I mean, for those who haven't watched the se- uh, the first season, I think it's a must. You must watch. Uh, must watch. But also, if you haven't played the game, I definitely think I suggest you do it. But it's pretty much a recap, as we already know that uh, Joel already has a connection with uh, Ellie, and he decides to change up at the last minute and save Ellie from the fireflies before her surgery. Because I believe the doctor says that he had to take her life during the surgery in order to get the vaccine, if I remember correctly. Right. They had like extracted from her, from her brain or something. Like a brain tumor or something. Yeah. Something like that. So yeah. we get a little recap, a decision he decided to make a last minute. Right. So again, be sure to f- watch season one. <laughs> if you made it this far, <laughs> you should have watched it or you played the game already. I'm sure. Please play but, the game. <laughs> I, I, yeah, definitely play the game. I prefer I would prefer you play the game over actually watching the the actual series. But moving on to the next scene. All right, so I'm gonna pause it right here. This this particular scene right here looks like the scene from part two, where they had like this get together thing, and I think Ellie got into it with the bartender. Correct. Over her kissing her. Well, at the time it wasn't her girlfriend. It was um her friend. It was her friend, but she was with the Asian dude. What was his name? Uh Jess. Jesse. Jesse, yeah. Uh what was her name again? Uh I should remember this. Uh Dina. Dina, okay. Yeah, it was uh, Dina. Dina. So yeah, she so, kisses. So Dina and 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 Ellie they kiss in, in I believe in this particular party, and this is what happened. This is what happens when Joel comes over to Vince Ellie as the guy calls her some derogatory term that I'm not going to repeat. Uh, <laughs> and uh, go go it's ahead. Straight, my bad. It's ripped off. No, no, uh, my bad. Uh, it's stri- it's ripped off straight off the game, bro. So I mean, um. It's pretty crazy how they how how they're actually going back and referencing the uh, video games. So I mean, this is, was a crucial point where Ellie and Joel um, stopped talking. I believe I believe that they lo- Ellie had lost her trust against Joel because he had just recently told her about um, the whole incident that happened between the Fireflies and and uh, him. Am I wrong? Yeah, about him saving about saving Ellie. Instead of letting her die to save the human race. Correct. And then icing on the cake was this incident at the party where Dean and Ellie, they kiss. And then the bartender had an issue with them two kissing. And Joel came to defend her and she got defensive about it. Went back to her, I believe, back to her house. 
and Joel tried to talk to her and she just wanted space, basically. Correct. But I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I just feel like this is like, is an exact rapper club. Maybe it's just me. I'm just excited for this trailer. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, all right. Did you hurt her? All right. So right here, this particular scene is Ellie's arm where she got bit at. And it looks like she put added a tattoo on to her arm to try to hide the try to hide the bite and possibly did something else to it to make it not look like a bite, maybe possibly look like a burn. Correct. I believe she was telling everybody it was a it was a, a burn mark, but it was the fact to hide the the bar, the bite from the um the corset just to blend in with people, just to blend it with the uh the tattoo. I believe she did this exactly in in part 2. Okay. Moving on. And what? What did you do? Oh, my bad. I was watching as a fan. Uh, <laughs> right here, we see Joel talking to somebody. This is Catherine O'Hara, who my assumption is that she is a therapist, that Joel is telling her all his, his deepest secrets to as far as the what's going on with the whole Ellie situation where he had to, where he had to keep it to himself. I'm going to go with that theory too. I think he's telling someone that he's trust. It could be a therapist, a doctor or a close friend, but I'm going to go with the assumption like you, I don't think it's a therapist. I mean, it's a little weird that he's telling someone that is a, a therapist, but I mean, as we already recall in part two, he was telling his brother Tommy about the whole incident that happened between him and the fireflies when he saved Ellie. Attorney Prime, well, she's not an attorney, but it's still part of the HIPAA law. She can't tell anybody what, <laughs> what he Doing says. Doing an apocalyptic world, but okay, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go with your with your theory, bro. Guys, it's always rules. Next, next scene. All right, so you got a you got a you got a frame of Joel right here, an older Joel, um, a little emotional about the situation. Uh, the therapist, she asked, uh, what did you do? And then he, he's just, he's just in the, in the emotional state. It looks like talking to her flashback scene, like a little bit of regret in his face. I wouldn't say regret. Uh, remember he did lie to Ellie. So I think that's what's burning his soul a little bit. The fact that they're not talking at, at this point in in the timeline, it, it probably does. It's a little dis. How do I say this? A little depressing for him. Okay. Next scene. Oh, go back. I screwed that up. Right there. So, any idea what this is? The top of my head, I can't think of anything right now. But if I were to make a theory right now, this is just... I don't... Don't quote me on this, but like, I'm going to go on with an assumption right here in my gut. This could be possibly where Ellie is taken to the hospital during the uh, the attack in the cabin when Abby ended up killing Joel. Hopefully that's not a, spo <laughs> a spoiler for all the, re the guys watching this, uh, this video because we already know what happens in part two. A lot of us don't want to talk about this, but um, I I'm going to go with the assumption is that they're taking her to the hospital or to some type of like... Uh, daycare some type of like medical center she probably just woke up after you know our hero was taken from the world i'm going to get make it a little bit more simpler i think this is a dream mm, that'd be interesting that's okay I, th I think this is a dream just to hype us up for this theat theatrical trailer all right Excuse like me, the seat. teaser trailer. Excuse, sorry, the teaser trailer. Oh, stop it right here. So I believe in this particular scene, uh, we have the snow blizzard at the beginning of the game, if I'm not mistaken, where I believe Joel and Tommy, they were missing for quite some time and they sent out Dina, Dina, Jesse, and Ellie to look for, look for Joel and Tommy. And in this particular scene, I, I would say that these are, what do they call them? The walkers? 
Or maybe it's the wrong um, zombie movie. A zombie <laughs> zombie TV show. The clickers. <laughs> no, 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 no. These are the pre-clickers. What do they call these things? Uh, No, they're clickers because they make noise because they can see right now. They're not... Um, they're infected. Let's, they're the infected. Infected? Uh, okay, it's been a while since I've played this game, so <laughs> all right. Yeah, we'll call them the infected. So they they're okay. all they're all chasing because it looks like this this really looks like the the home of of Tommy Tommy's uh Tommy's town if we're being honest. So maybe they just added this, and this might just be something completely different than what I'm actually thinking from them chasing them in the blizzard. My thoughts on this, it, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go a little bit different with this. From what I'm looking at right now. Maybe they're not clickers. Maybe they're not zombies. Maybe they're not the core sets. Maybe they're not infected. I'm going to go with a limb right here. Uh, if we were calling part two, um, Abby and her and her clique, her crew, were looking for Joel in Jacksonville. I'm going to go I'm gonna go a little bit out of uh, the limb right here. I'm going to say probably, let's just say, during the blizzard, there are some, there are some um, civilians out there trying to be rescued, and they see... The, uh, the barricade up in Jacksonville and they're running from, let's say, clickers or the infected right now and trying to look for a place to, to be safe. That's my my thoughts on this idea right here. A little something different than we'd get in, in the video game. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, okay, right here. All right, so this clarifies it for me. I think the infected was coming to attack the town Tommy is sitting at the highest tower, taking out the infected. There you go. Okay. Okay. I, I, I feel like this is confirmation answers. right here. Same setting, Blizzard. What you think? Okay. I, I think that might have changed my mind right now. But okay. So this reminds <laughs> me of a flashback <laughs> during part two when uh, Ellie was getting uh, sniper lessons from uh, Tommy, if, I, if you remember that scene. But that was in, that was a totally different season, though. No, we were talking about the video game. I'm, yeah, like, that it was, was a different. Two. It was a different like season as far as weather's concerned. True, but it's just it's just a little you know attention to detail is what I'm trying to say. Uh, nah, he looked a little bit too desperate in this particular situation. So I don't think this is him teaching her how to shoot. I think this is a this is an attack on the actual town. You never know. I think they no, stop looking. Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say this looks like a. A, a a prequel to the the events that happens in part two of the game. Correct. I'm just saying is 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 like I'm seeing that the writers in HBO Max is paying attention to detail to the game. They're referencing the game a lot. I'm just saying in general like that Tommy was teaching Ellie how to snipe, and I'm not saying at that particular moment this is what he's doing right now, but I'm just saying is they're paying attention to detail. Like Tommy was a sniper, so of course. He's in the scene. He has a sniper rifle. So it just, it's, it just, I'm just the little things that matter, bro. I'm just saying, like they're, they're referencing the game. So that's pretty good idea. So they know what they're doing. That's pretty. I'm just saying they're going in the right direction. Okay. Oh, right there. Okay. What we got? We got the scars. We got the scars. So the people the scars. at home, please tell them what the scars are. Uh, I believe they were a native tribe. Uh, that was also the rival of the uh, WLF, the wolves that Abby also was working. Uh, working with, they were opposed against the uh, scars. They also went by another name. I can't remember right now what they originally were called. Uh, started with a P, if I remember correctly. Don't get me lying, cause I I thought I just thought they were scars. They, they were a tribe that believed in um going back to the old ways using bow and arrows they don't believe in using um modern weapons and all that uh i believe that they also had like a like a prophecy that they believed in um a savior i believe it was a woman i can't remember the whole storyline about that if you remember i didn't even get that deep into in into them to be honest with you but okay we're just gonna go ahead and roll with their their, their the scars they they some serious mofos in the game. I ain't gonna lie to you. At the beginning, when they first entered into the game, like they would make this whistling noise, 
and then they would shoot you with the bow and arrow. <laughs> like that used to blow me. And Yo. you already know I play that. You know I played on the highest difficulty, so you only get shot <laughs> twice. <laughs> you mean once? <laughs> straight, that's a dun, that's Dunzo. So yeah, the, these are the scars right here. Like they some they some serious serious natives in the game. Um, uh, go back. Okay. Um, oh, man, messed up. You thinking that's Dina? I'm thinking that's Dina, bro. Okay, so we got a scene of Dina in fear okay. with the with the lantern. I don't think there's really much to elaborate on this. She had a batter in in live action, and she's in the video game. Okay. All right, so a little blurry of a scene, but we see Ellie with a AK-47 shooting it. Mm, okay. Up, oh, go back. So right here in this particular setting, obviously this is, I would think there there's a person right here. I don't know if you can see this with me moving with the mouse. Yeah, yeah, I see somebody back there. So they're looking down at the town. So I'm assuming this is Abby. This is Abby looking Damn. down at the town. Okay. Beginning would, of a part two. Yeah. If it was two people, I would probably say it would be Owen. I'm interested to see what Owen looks like. Yeah, that that'd be an interesting thing. We'll get to we'll get to Abby. We'll get to Abby at the end of the trailer. All right. So this right here is Jeffrey Wright. And as we discussed before we actually did this, your prediction is that you think that he's Isaac. I believe he's Isaac, the leader of the WLF. Uh also the leader of Abby, who controls her faction. And I believe where where was it on and where was their their town located? Seattle. Seattle. Mm-hmm. Hey yo, this this is this is a legend right here, yo. Jeffrey Wright. For most of y'all who don't know, Commissioner Gordon in the Batman, Robert Pattinson, and the MCU, if you recall, he's the watcher. To be honest, I don't really care for him as Commissioner Gordon. Uh, don't say that, yo. He was pretty good. He was all right. <laughs> what about I've, the watcher? i never seen it. The what if episodes? <laughs> Oh, as the Watcher. Okay, the watcher, yes. Right? Yeah. Man, okay, it's a cartoon. I can't. You can't really judge a guy off of a cartoon. But that voice, though. Come on, can't I can knock do him. a better job. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's move on. All right. So we have Abby here now. I'm assuming she's trying to escape the infected. Oh yes. We know this pretty well. In a pretty tough spot here. So, Abby, the actress that is playing Abby is Caitlin Devers. You know, when I looked this up to, they said the most controversial character in in history. One of the most controversial characters. Correct. Oh, you agree? I be, I agree. I I full heartedly agree with this, bro. You already know I'm not a big fan of uh part two, the way that they ended it, the way that they introduced Abby. I'm still, I'm still on the same fence, bro. Like it was, it was a great game, but the storyline could have been a lot better. I just felt like they didn't flesh out a lot of the character development for most characters in this game. I just felt more like it was just more of a sob story for Ellie. And you know, they took away her goat. That's all I'm going to (laughs) say. That's all I'm going to say. But to go back and reference this uh this scene is straight ripped off the game. If we recall, like you just stated earlier in that mountain, I be- you believe that it's Abby and Owen could be there because Owen did find Jacksonville on his own and took Abby out in the, uh, I believe in the middle of the night to show Abby that he found Jacksonville and he believes that Joel is is staying in Jacksonville. And as we know, in this point of this game, she tells Owen that she's like. I'm ready for this. And he's like, I don't think we should do it. And then he, she goes off and ventures on her own. And then she gets chased by the infected. And then at this exact, this exact moment, she gets jumped by the fence with the infected. And guess who comes saving? <laughs> guess who comes saving her? 
Joel and Tommy. Joel, you're ruining it. <laughs> next scene. All right, next scene. Oh, go back. Oh, snap. Okay. We can't skip this right here. All right, so we got we got a frame of two dudes on a horse right here. I'm assuming mm-hmm. this is Tommy and Tommy and Joel out there doing their rounds around the town. And they ran into a little bit of trouble from the affected. Facts. All right, so this scene right here, I'm thinking they're uh this is Ellie and she is on her way to Seattle and she gets caught up in the subway with it with with clickers with Dina if I ever recall if we recall correctly remember yes Just trying to do this right non-spoil non-spoilish as possible oh my fault <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm getting a little too excited right now Oh boy. And there we go. We have our first our first image of a clicker for season two. Personally, like I said, I'm not really a fan of the amount of clickers that were actually in season one. Hopefully they turn up the amount of clickers and make it actually look like an actual apocalyptic type of TV show instead of like I kind of felt like it was rushed in season one where there wasn't a lot, a lot of in between time, which I know they have to be very careful with that because they don't want it to make it look boring. Because a lot of like, you know, a lot of like in between stuff, then you actually from what you're actually trying to get to the objective in the actual like TV show can get it can lose the audience. So somehow they're going to have to end up increasing the amount where it actually is a a po- apocalyptic setting setting i agree with you i saved her all right there you go that is your trailer excuse me theatrical the trailer oh what is this take this off a little bit of a <laughs> um, i'm sorry your thoughts on it Come on, be honest. Uh, I don't think we have Last of Us Part 1, Last of Us Season 1 on this channel. So I'm going to have to go ahead and try to find that. But me, I I definitely enjoyed the game. Part mm-hmm. 1. I mean, part 1. Well, I enjoyed both games. I just felt like some things that happened in the second game... <laughs> It could have done, been done differently and it would have been better. But um, as far as this, this, uh, this teaser is concerned, I'm not really looking forward to season two. Oh, come on. Okay. I'm not. I'm sorry. I, I like I try. I tried my <laughs> absolute best. I'm not looking forward to season two. Like I wasn't. Okay. I wasn't. I wasn't blown away with season one. The season one, the budget was just. You could tell that it re- they really didn't invest a lot of money into the season one, and I felt like it robbed the fans, the excuse me, the newcomers of Last of Us of what it's supposed to be about. And the only way you're supposed to get that experience is if you sit down and actually play the game. And a lot of us obviously ain't got time to play no games, we or they just feel like they're too good to play games. But mm-hmm. somehow in this in this season two. They're going to have to do things a whole lot differently than they did in season one. I agree with you. Um, I believe the budget wasn't there or they lowballed the budget or they were just scared that they didn't want to reference a lot of the game. My my thing is with um, is that either you play the game, you understand the game or for the newcomers, you you came in here blind. Um, like completely blind and you fell in love with the story. I like the story. I like the characters. I'm not going to a lie a hundred percent. The character development could have been a lot better. There could have been so much more storyline, more episodes. 
And also, too, like the whole clicker thing, too, with the infected, there could have been a lot more. And realistically speaking, in a apocalyptic world, they should have been more infected, but they kind of bypassed that. And that's all due to the restraints in the plot and the budget. I believe is the budget. I, I think kind of Sony was playing it safe to see how the audience were to take it. I think that they might do better in this. They need more infected because this is later on in the timeline. My thing is with this is that if we're going to do this whole storyline, at least flesh out the characters a little bit more, make us sympathize for these characters than you more than you did for season one. Going in here, I really thought from my, my understanding in this was that we were going to go a different route with uh, season two. Meaning with is that I didn't think we were going to jump right into part two, straight into the video game. That's maybe my understanding of it. I thought we were going to talk about what happened between part one and part two. And then season three was going to be about the beginning of part two. But I'm going to go that maybe Sony understands what they're doing, but we'll see. We'll just have to see how Nick Offman takes this because he says he wants to take the first two games and make it to make it into two seasons of, I believe so season two and three. So my only thoughts about this is that if you're going to do it, you might as well do it right. I kind of thought we were going to go a completely like different than the video game, but maybe he he is trying to change a little certain things and keep it the same. But uh, look, all I'm going to say is like, I know that I don't want to see my OG go out again. I'm I'm emphasized on this again and again, and I know that the audience is going to you know. Don't be saying no spoilers. Audience is just, I know, but I'm just saying the audience is going to go against the idea. I know, like last time we did the uh, the video that you know it's fifty fifty, but whatever. I'm just going to give my opinion. I don't want to see him go, uh, but it is what it is. I like them to flesh out the story, but what it it it, it is what it is. Um, I'm just going to say my thoughts. It is that that they're going to make this probably two, maybe three seasons. That's my opinion. Part two is probably going to last three seasons, and then we're going to get the Last of Us Part Three. Hopefully, if there ever becomes a part three. Three seasons. Let's I mean, see how, let's see, let's see how season two goes. Let's see how season two goes, because I feel like it's going to be two seasons. I'm two and done. I'm good. To be honest with you, like the whole season one was the whole video game of part one. That could have fleshed it out to two seasons. That's my opinion. But part two is is pretty big of a story. There was a lot of loopholes and a lot of things that I feel like they could explain and they had they opportunities it. but they missed it was rushed as we already I, know but I, I want to take it back real quick to because a lot of folks are gonna be like what do you mean what do you mean about character development and are you sympathizing with the characters like um i'll give you an example at the beginning of season one when joel lost his daughter in the game it was very very sympathetic it's, it hits it hit it hit so totally different compared to you sitting down and actually watching it on screen of what's going on. Like it just felt like it was just a rush situation. So again, it's going to come down to how are you going to be able to make these characters make you want to sympathize with these characters? Cause that's the, I, in my honest opinion, that's what makes last of us such a great game is because they made, they made, made you want to sympathize with the characters. Correct. They put you in the in the footsteps of the main character Joel, and you sympathize. And the whole relationship with him and his daughter in the in the first like fifteen twenty minutes of the game was really well developed. But in the show, we only got like I want to say maybe five two minutes, minutes, two maybe, minutes, maybe two maybe. five minutes. But but think about it like this: fifteen minutes to like five minutes is is rushed. So I, I get what you're saying, but. I, I still felt it, but it's not the same. I'm not going to lie to you. It's, you know, the video game hits different. It was well developed. It was the, the characters and just seeing Joel progress throughout the, in the future and progress becoming this hardcore badass and then reverting back to being a father to a, to a, a young girl who resembles his daughter. Um, it's touching. And, you know, like, I mean, like, I know, I believe we asked this question before in the pod last time. Um, if it was your daughter, would you have done the same thing? Would you have given up your only child to save mankind or would you have saved your daughter and screwed over mankind? Are you asking me? 
No, I'm just saying that was the question that we had in the last pod. But I mean, as most audience would say, they would do it. But, you know, there's some that say I'm that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> some audience would say it will go against it. But I mean, well, they're lying. Here. They're, they're, they're not doing that. For those that said that, I know they don't have kids. I know that. <laughs> hey, just leave your leave your like and comment, comment in the, <laughs> the box below. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm excited for this season, uh, season two for next year. Uh, let's see how it goes. But uh, hopefully it's better than last season. Yes. So, uh, yes, like you said, leave a comment and a like below, but most definitely feedback on the, uh, the actual reaction as we go through frame by frame of trailers moving forward. If you enjoyed it, if you want to see more of it, uh, be sure to voice your opinion. We would, we enjoy feedback. 